three things to do on Instagram right now to better show off those awesome drone photos and videos you're taking. From making sure that they are optimized vertically for a four or five crop on the feed, to making sure those nine by 16 stories are looking tight, and also so you're taking them in high quality, are you also uploading them in high quality? Let's dive in. Let's dive in with the first one, which is getting to that vertical four or five for the feed. And y'all know me, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. We're just gonna use the iPhone and the Photos app, no problem. So this is a shot that I took recently of my drone winner, in case you missed that, link in the description below. I gave away my Mavic Air 2, and I'm literally just going to turn the photo first. So I'm turning it vertically, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of a resize of four or five, and then I might zoom in so that we're centered. And there you go, we have that. So that means when I take it into the Instagram app, when I'm choosing this photo, I'm making sure to press the outer button to make sure it does stay in the four or five and not the one by one. So I wanna make sure I've got that four or five, and that's how I'm making sure I've got this shot for Instagram ready to rock and roll. I don't know if you've seen this before, but have you ever seen a drone shot on Instagram where they are making you turn your phone to the side. To me, that feels like going to someone's house for Halloween, trick or treating, and you're getting an apple. You're getting an apple. You're not getting the Twix or the Kit Kat bar or something in that range. You're getting that or a toothbrush and no one wants that. Let's talk about stories, which one of my favorite things to do is just to take a top down shot because that's the easiest thing. And literally all you need to do is turn it. So for example, in this really awesome shot that I took of this alligator, I'm literally just turning it. And then that's what I'm using in my Instagram story. And I can pull that directly into my stories and have the nice vertical, no problem. But let's say it's not a top down shot, which by the way, yo, I'm Christine. And on this channel, I talk all things drones. I think they're so fun and so easy to fly. I have a private Facebook group, an email list, and tons of really fun things happening all the time. I don't want you to miss a thing. So make sure you check the description. Let's talk about another way to do this, which is let's say you don't have a top down drone shot. What would you do in that case? All right, let's talk about what to do if it's not a top down shot like this beauty right here. First, I'm just gonna go into the photos app just like before, and I'm gonna start free form cropping it in so that my phone can pick up that, yo, I think Christine might want a vertical shot here. And so when I come back in again to crop it, then it will know that I do want that 916 and it's cropping it perfectly for me and I'm gonna line it up. And there are considerations around having a focal point. So make sure you check out the link in the description below for my other video that talks about that. But there you go. Now I have this vertical shot that I can put directly into my stories and it's beautiful. And if you do any of these things, tag me on Instagram because I really want to see what you guys come up with. It really does make my day. Okay, let's talk about the next one. This last one is important because you're already taking high quality photos and videos, so upload them in high quality. And so within my settings, I'm literally just going to the hamburger bar and then settings. And then under account, I'm choosing data usage, data usage. And you wanna know which one is on there? High quality uploads. That's gonna make sure that you're keeping that high quality when you put it up there. Ooh, I have a bonus tip for you, cause why not? This last one is if you don't wanna do all of that resizing stuff that I was telling you about, but you just wanna post a story that has the full view. So I don't know if you know this, tell me in the comments if you did know, you can literally just pinch to zoom in on your photo. A lot of people don't know that. It's a really simple thing to be able to get that full size photo or video onto your Instagram stories. Tell me in the comments below which one you're gonna try and add your tip down there too. We're all a community. And speaking of which, we have an awesome community on Facebook in which I do a lot of live streams and I also virtually fly with you guys, helping you to master something that you're working on. So don't miss a thing, join us over there. I'm here every week with new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.